All right, jumping into a brand new tournament, going for a brand new prize. So this tournament is a tournament of manipulation, and we are going for intensive training shoot. The stars have a line. This is perfect. So we're going to set up for a tournament of manipulation, like I said. I'm going to say three tries max. So we are going to go against, oh, this is going to be tough. We're going to go against the glories, then beasts, then fangs, most likely. Okay, this is... This is something else. All right, well, let's see what we can do. So Fangs versus Sykes first. I mean, this should be a Fangs victory easily. And there it is. 1-0 for the Fangs. Good for them. And then next, we take on the Guado Gories. Max Pressure. Again, three tries. If we can't win after three tries, we just accept the result. I think that's a fair thing to do, because if there if there are no re like risks to this attempt, then it I, I personally feel like it, it can be kind of boring. I don't know. Maybe I'm alone in that thought, but I feel like you got to have some risks. You got to have the ability for the opposing teams to win. You just stack the odds against them slightly. All right. Well, we're two two. Can we get the 3-2? I don't know. It feels like those first few goals were super easy, and now, now neither team is letting it go. Definitely looks like a 3-2 no matter what. Oh no, Gosson's injured. Yeah, that's going to be it. All right, well, let's drop the... Uh, and then let's jump back in. I guess nor normally my background is Steam, but this time it's the YouTube page. Yeah. You can clearly see what I was just doing. Yeah. I was making more shorts for Final Fantasy X, <laughs> if you guys didn't catch that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of going through the game, like, and just making shorts because I think it's... I don't know. I think there are some cool things to show. So that's what we're really doing. My goal is to use all the uh, tools provided by like FFXCD and all the special abilities and showcase them used by players. All right, we're gonna overhead. So this is our second try. We get three tries. Okay, first goal is ours. That is beautiful. Dude, I'm really worried that we get shut down in this first match. We already lost once. And, dude, this bracket is, like, the worst we could get. We hit every single tough team. We don't get the goers. We don't get the Sykes. We have to face the Fangs, Beasts, and Gories. Like, that's our life. That sucks. <laughs> We're already a point up. Zazie's injured. This feels like a win. But, nope, they, they fight back. The fact is, we were up 2-0, and now we're getting shut down. That's crazy. No way. Please, please tell me we don't lose here. That would just be something else. OT is here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No. Oh, no, no, no. This feels bad. And they're in position for that long feed. It does get intercepted. Oh, can we just get it? Come on. Come on, team. Come on, team. Come on, team. <laughs> do we have to injure half their players, but we do get the win. Oh, my gosh. 3-2. That was crazy. That was insane. Well, we claim victory. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to resign, and then we're going to trade out or uh, train a bunch of fatigue out. That was insane, dude. Absolutely crazy. All right, well, let's go for it. We should also decide who gets this. Probably our guy, Ronso. That makes the most sense to me. It's like, so, it's slightly like more optimal like ever so slightly by one shoot but still fangs probably you're gonna win against the goers I'd be incredibly shocked if they don't okay so they definitely <laughs> dude the the sky level two team slash fangs here six one the goers I mean that is no chance. No chance at all. And we go against the Beasts, which I almost feel like the Beasts are a tougher matchup than the Gories. Which makes me nervous, to say the least. I mean, we had a, quite a few attempts there. We fail on all of them. Oh, there it is. 1-0. 1-0. That's good. That's not bad at all. 
we can just injure Vorja, that changes the whole like dynamic of this game. I really do believe that. Their center attack falls apart without a center. If, or if we can go up 2-0. We're three and a half minutes in. <gasps> Vorja's injured. Told you the dynamic shifting. 2-0. Oh yeah, it's over. I think without a center there, yeah. It's 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 done. It's cooked. They're over. 2-0. Victory is ours. We don't even have to reset for that. But now comes the big challenge. The big concern. The scout level 2 team. Now this team is the risk. This team is the problem. We're going to see if we can take them on. See if we can claim victory. I don't know. It's all, it's all up in the air. We got three tries. Visual. Let's see if we can visual max pressure. You're going to have our guy challenge. Incredible. He strikes. He steals. He succeeds. Jamal doesn't look at him. And we corkscrew shot for 45 goals. Okay, never mind. Nautila. Nautila steals. That last part might not have happened. Our guy Ronsa might not have scored there. All right. Well, you're going to have Nautila push up. Her speed, pretty average. But she's able to avoid the encounter nonetheless. And then you got Naida pushing as well. Past the map. This is where we get a little bit nervous, but thankfully Darga with his block able to say, you know what, let's not have a situation where we have to deal with MEP right now. Let's have a MEPless day. Naida challenges. Can't quite touch. We're gonna pass to our guy. And he will claim it. That's beautiful. That's perfect. He might get two people encountering him here though, which could be risky. Pass to Basique. Oh, I never like this. I always talk about it, but I hate that. Because it's always an interception. It's always an interception. We try to touch Naida, she dodges, just goes for the shot. No one to block it, and even Zamzi can't stop it. That's a 1-0 already. That is that is too much, man. That is too much. You're gonna have Basique Ronson push up, map challenge. Basique will pass to Gazna. I respect it, it's fine. Now the challenges. Gaza shoots, which I, I like, but I don't think it makes it. That's decent. I mean, even with the pressure play, it just felt like it wasn't the action to take. Gaza challenges. Able to pressure play. Again, Gaza is just. Dude, all the pressure is him. All the pressure is it. All the pressure is he. Lose the ball to Naida. No man, don't worry about this, this stuff too much, but the fact that we're down a point worries me quite a bit, to be honest. Don't love our current situation. Pass to Durin, Durin claims. No one in front of Durin. And his speed is just uh, average, but still able to get the corkscrew shot off. This feels bad. Down two points, two minutes in. This feels like I'm attending my funeral. Basique passes to Gazna. It's fine. If I can just get a goal that's a little bit comforting, but Duran steals. Erga challenges. Duran passes to Naida. Dude, this guy level 2 team is just so insane. If I can just get a forward with shoot, that'd be so comforting, but... I don't know if it's going to happen today. I mean, three tries is, I feel like, more than generous. But to be honest, and this is me being a bad YouTuber, I didn't actually check what our last game was. I forget how many tries we had. Because if we did three tries last time, we should be increasing it. Swanda does dodge and pass to Naida. That's something. Gaza claims it. Gazna likes to just yeet it in. There's a part of me now that's thinking like maybe we need to give Gazna the intensive training. His his shoot will only be like 74 or whatever. But still, like he keeps on trying to shoot. Maybe that just makes sense. It almost it almost it, it, it's almost tempting. We're gonna have Darga pass to Gazna. Now he intercepts. And she just cannot be touched. We'll pass to Durin. I don't know. There's an argument that we could just cancel this game and start our second one because we're not going to win, but I don't know. I would like to play it out. Oh, man. Just like that. Uh, we're going to we're gonna close out. 
So we're gonna. All right. There it is. All right, let's try a second attempt. We can't. We come. We can't come back from three goals. We can come back with two, maybe, like really big, maybe. But three is too much. All right, second try. In the pool, gonna see what we can do. The seek Ronson with a corkscrew shot. This is crazy. This is so good. This should not be intercepted. And the prayer is that it makes it in. No way. Immediately. Basique sets the pace. Basique sets the stage. 1-0, 14 seconds in. Question is, can we steal it from Duran? Can we make it 2-0? We can steal at least. Our guy with the ball. He's going to push. He's going to have to deal with Jamal. He's going to have to deal with Nadala. Is Duran going to pursue from the back? And Naida in the center? Pass to volley or pass to Basique for a volley. That is a huge mistake, as we've talked about many a time. Any pass for a volley is dumb. Period. That's that's it. It's just dumb. Gonna have Zalitz pass to Naida. Ideally, if we can just if we can just hit Naida and and injure her, that'd be over. I'll pass the map. That's pretty good. Can we can we get multiple people on him? We get newbie. Interception? Okay, there it is. There it is. It made me a little bit nervous. It made me a little bit nervous. I saw him dodging, weaving. Newbie couldn't hit him. Naida couldn't be hit either. It was just, it was all over the map. But then eventually we got him. Eventually. Now it's up to, what is going on? That was a, that was only Gazna, but it felt like a three Ronso encounter about to happen. All right, Gazna dodges, pushes up here. Again, we're only a minute and a half in with a, with a goal ahead. Getting two is like the ultimate security. It's like, oh yeah, like we, we feel like we've set a pace rather than we just got stupid lucky. And I see it past Nadala, or uh, pass to our guy. Potential interception from Nadala. But our guy, he's gonna shoot. Insane, insane in the membrane. Dude, this might be it. Second try, this might be it. Our guy Ronso might be intensively trained. This might be everything we were hoping for. You see our guy pass to Gosma. Gosma will dodge. There's a part of me that just wants like a tussle in the midfield. You know what I mean? Just tackle after tackle. Just, you know, turnover after turnover. Just so we could kill the clock. You know, we steal from Naida, she steals from us, and we just we just hang out. The fact that she's just pushing and not being challenged, past the map, it all it all makes me nervous. It all makes me think like, yeah, we might we might just get get sh scored on here. No interception. Yep, that's what I was fearful of. Two and a half minutes in, they got their goal. Two one. We're still winning, but two and a half whole minutes. Two and a half whole minutes. That is scary. That is very, very scary. Can I have Naida challenge? Pass to Urga. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. This feels like a this feels like a Durin ball. Durin or Jamal. Oh well, maybe. Run, run, pass, 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 pass. He's on your tail. He's right there. Is this Gosna for a volley? Uh, I again. I mean, I should probably take note. I think successful volleys. It's got to be like, I, I dare say single digits. It's got to be like 3-4% of successful volleys for this series. And they just don't work against these top tier teams. So when we go for a volley, it's going for an interception. We, we must have, I mean, we probably have failed 95 times, succeeded three. It's got to be terrible. I can't believe it's worked out well in many, many occurrences. All right, Darga steals. That's beautiful. That's perfect. I really like that because Naida was in a position where if she didn't lose the ball, it felt like she had no one between her and the goal. And if she went for the shot, she could have definitely made it. I would almost prefer to see Gosna go for a, uh, well, now our guy go for a corkscrew shot. Because it, it takes time. It goes to, Zan or it goes to excuse me, Svanda. It, it feels good. But this is also uh, decent-ish. Unfortunately, we could just in position to stop it. 
See it passing Aida. We got 55 seconds left. That's it. We gotta hold on for 55 seconds. Guys and steals. We could this could be our third goal here. We could get it. <gasps> Sets up Aria for a volley. Our first successful volley ever. Love it. Oh never. I mean, I would say that's a successful volley. Because it actually happened. Normally when I say failure, I mean it never made it to the shooter. I don't mind if it's blocked by Savanda, but I do mind if it's intercepted over and over. Duran's got 30 seconds. He's, he's feeling the pressure. He might even go for it. If we can just intercept him, that'd be ideal. No, we can't. Corkscrew. It's all up to Zamzi. He's got to save this game right now. If he doesn't stop this, it's OT. Zamzi can't stop it. He doesn't have the skill. He doesn't have the catch. We are tied now, forcing into an OT. We were 2-0 up. Might I remind you all, we were two to zero. But Seek Ronso injured, it's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. The intensive training shoot was something that we would, that we coveted, that we very much wanted. But I mean, it just doesn't feel good now. I mean, with a pass to Gosna, we could save this pass to our guy, have our guy shoot, something like that. But Seek isn't pivotal to the strategy. It, it's arguably better he's down because it means we won't try to volley. <laughs> But I, I just don't know. I just don't know. We got 51 endurance or 51 fatigue. Gazna. We put so much pressure on these players. Uh, next goal wins 2 2. I mean, that's just the world we live in right now. During challenges. Thank the Lord we're able to able to dodge that. I mean, during stealing, that would have been catastrophic. Any encounter with Gazna, though, is kind of nerve wracking as well. Because he's probably going to have to deal with another encounter here. And I just, I don't know, he's got 91 endurance, but still, I, he, he can't always avoid the hit. Pass the Durin. Can we injure this man? Come on, Urga or Newbie, whoever you are. All right, the steal is good. This is crazy. Just pass to our guy. I mean, I guess Gazna, although I, I don't know if I'm going against my own I, strategy, but... I would have preferred our guy get the ball there. Nautilus the challenges. Oh, this feels okay. No, no. The fumble's bad. I mean, I'm just, it's me, Captain Obvious. Uh, the fumble's bad. Fumble's bad. Got some challenges. Unable to touch. Now he's got free, uh, free range to roam. She just can't be touched. She's got 99 endurance. She just cannot be touched. Yeah, three dodges in a row, pass to Durin. It feels like they've turned something on. And no one there. Again, it's up to Zamzi to stop it. This time not to protect the win, but to protect against the loss. And he just can't do it. That is going to be game number two. We got one more try. If we fail, we fail. That's it. Dude, this is heartbreaking. I can't believe we're in a position like this. Because, I, I mean, I can believe that we lose three games in a row. I can believe it. But we had two goals up, and that's what I can't believe. We were in such a perfect scenario, only for it to all fall apart. We're going to see Basique Ronso pass to Gazana. No, uh, no 14 second goal for Basique today. Kind of a shame. Darga challenges, Darga steals. It's not too bad. We're actually, we're really going forward past the Gosna. Uh, 30 seconds on the clock. So we get that first goal. We got it. I feel like we have to get the first goal, to be honest. Oh, the volleys. Does this work? It does. Nice. Um, because if we, if we don't get the first goal, we're always trying to catch up. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Gonna have Durin push forward. Maybe an injury? Nope, not even a touch. Pass to Naida. Third time's a charm, that's what they say. So we're we're hoping for some charm here. Alright, well question is, can Gasa steal this? Will he even be in competition he, no he won't even he won't even interact during with the ball it's 
Zondi able to steal? That's perfect. That's perfect. Good job, Zondi. Love to see Zondi doing something. My favorite thing is when my players do something. Alright, we've got to have some challenge here. Okay, Urga steals. Going up 2-0 again would be so ideal. It'd be so perfect. I don't know if that happens, but we can hope. Urga continues to push. He's getting a lot of distance, but Jamal challenges and will steal the ball. So it's a little bit of a damper on our on our progress. Urga challenges. Okay, a little bit of back and forth. I don't mind this. Anything to kill the clock, right? All right, who's gonna be the first one to dodge? <laughs> it's like it's our turn to try to dodge here. Oh, hey, we did it. Good for us. Come on, Urga. Sets up Gaza. Oh, I still don't like it. I don't like it at all. Again, the volleys, they just don't. They just don't do it for me. Gaza will have the ball, though. Oh, this is it. Maybe? Oh, uh, not quite. Svando will pass it during, who thankfully is pretty far forward. I mean, he's still like, you know, or I, I guess back, I should say, not forward. Um, which allows Urga to challenge and steal. Th about almost three minutes in, and we are just, dude, I don't, don't do the Kazna thing. But yeah, we've just had tackle after tackle. Oh, this is massive. Naida fumbles the ball. That could have been fatal. That could set us up for an attempt. Riku with the save. Able to recover after the fumble. He's got a little bit more speed than the average player. Able to dodge Basik here. Really push forward. This is not the player that needed the ball. She is just saying that she could set a volley, a volley for Mep and it could be just GG. Alright, well Gazan is very much covering Naida at this point. My goodness. He was almost clipping into her. <gasps> Darga steals and injures. I repeat the midfielder is down. That is perfect. With only a minute 30 left, I mean, Gazna now has no one in front of him. No competition. Third time is the charm. We're calling it. Let's see if we can get a volley here maybe to our guy. I'm, at this point, I've got to ask for it. Like, I'd prefer him just shoot it. Oh my gosh, he's actually shooting it. There it is. 2-0, four minutes in. That's beautiful. I don't want the volleys, but I just believe they're going to happen. So I got to look at the one that makes sense. The Argive volley made sense for like a little bit, but it was probably going to be an interception no matter what. All right. Well, we are two points up with possession of the ball. Our guy dodges. This is, uh, I mean, some would say unfair because they won two out of the three games. Even if we win this game, they should technically be the winners. But to that response, I say, meh, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have a response. I don't have a response. I, I am just happy to claim intensive training shoot. We've essentially got, got what is the equivalent of the time stone. We just we just re rewind time if it goes wrong for us. Yeah, that's how we do it. Jamal pass to Riku, and that's it. No pressure needed. 2-0, final score. Perfect. We claim victory. Our guy Ronzo going to get his training. It only took three tries. Three tries seems to be the sweet spot. And arguably, we won't be doing this in the future when we get more consistent wins. Three tries is good to show like how, how likely we are to win tournaments, though. Because we failed against the uh, the Glories first round, and then twice against the Fang, so we're we're near their competition, but not quite there. All right. Well, either way, we're gonna send our guy Ronzo away. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. When you come back, gonna be playing more Blitzball. Till next time.